folks. Come on. Hey, come, on. come on, straight back. You got it. Come on. Driving rain, thunder, and lightning greeted a long line of arriving anglers. But what's a little bad weather or high water when there's a chance to spend the day on Kentucky Lake bass fishing for a good cause? Good luck to you. Have a good day. See you at 415. All right, it's ready. It's showtime. All right, you ready, Kenny? Are you ready? We're heading out with Ken Chapman and Frank Flack, two men who formed a real fishy friendship. I had practiced a little bit during the week and found some fish. I thought I could get a small limit off some island. The water color's good in here. For flipping, it's perfect, really. With the water level high due to heavy rain, Frank and Kenny start out in some thick vegetation, partially submerged trees and bushes. Got him? I had him. The limbs are easy to snag. We're in the jungle. And the bugs quick to bite. Well, don't you know the skeeters get bad in here? The fish are biting too. They're just a little small. Kentucky Lake special. Combat fish. These fish out here, you know, normally would spawn on these islands, and I'm sure they will, but the water's so deep out here now that, yeah, they're here, and they're wanting to do with their deal, but I think the water's too deep for them. We get done with this island, we're gonna go, go into a creek and get closer to the bank. When the water comes up, fish follow it up and they get closer to the bank. Soon they're in some flooded timber and the business picks up. This water's dark back here and that black worm does real well. Good job, Bubba! <laughs> that is the quest. They're in here, Kenny. We need to I know they're in here. We can get in there through that other way. I got a good one. Kenny, Kenny! Hold on to him, hold on to him. <laughs> there we go. Today they weren't biting it real hard, they were just take a swim off with it. You pitch it in the bush, as soon as it get, it get down to the bottom, you'd shake it two or three times and it'd just get heavy. It wasn't like they were hitting it real hard. So what the bite wasn't really exciting though, but when you sit back on a fish and he's in that bush, I don't know, the whole bush shakes. We go, Kenny, Kenny. Frank and Kenny have hit a hot spot. <laughs> By mid-afternoon, they have their five fish limit, but a close encounter with this cottonmouth was all the reason they needed to head back. Boats from all over Kentucky Lake slowly enter the marina for the weigh-in. The fishing was good and steady for Kenny and Frank today, as it was for a number of anglers. In fact, the tournament in its 15th season set a record. 333 boats, that means over 600 anglers participated in this event. I'm beginning it back when I was coaching football here. It's our 15th year, so uh, certainly it's uh, raised quite a bit of money for the Austin P Athletic Program through the years. And I think it's an opportunity to get a lot of people to support Austin P who may not support it in any other way. Five breath, five alive, Ken Chapman, Frank a big crowd watches as the fish are weighed. Five bass, five alive, 16, 4, 6, 16, 4, 6, 6. A day's catch of almost 16 and a half pounds of bass puts our team around the top 25. It's not about winning the big money um, because really the pot's not that big. It's about coming out and supporting Austin P, which supports the community. And uh, a lot of father and sons, friends like Kenny and I that may not get to fish a lot, this is the one time we get to come together. Good job, Bubba! <laughs> Their time together is almost as exciting as that next big bite. Keep it. Yes, Bubba. I'm Alan Griggs on Tennessee's Wild Side.